So in this problem, we're told to use the following definition to find an expression for the area under the curve y equals x cubed from 0 to 2 as a limit. And we're told that the area of the region s that lies under the graph of the continuous function f is the limit of the sum of the areas of approximating rectangles. We're told that a equals the limit as n approaches infinity and then all this stuff. So what you need to know in order to solve this problem is this formula. So the integral from a to b of f of x dx is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity, uh, sigma n of f of a plus delta x i times delta x. So this basically is this right here, is uh, what that we're trying to find. We're given this function here from 0 to 2. So let's try and rewrite it in a different way. So this basically just means, because we're trying to find the area, uh, the integral from a, a is going to be 0 because it's the bottom of our domain, so because we're going from 0 to 2. So b is going to be 2. So a is 0, b is 2, and our function is x cubed. Um, and so what we're going to do is use this to solve this. So basically what we're going to do is take our x cubed, plug in this, a plus delta x times i, and then multiply it by delta x. And that's going to be this right here. So first let's start off by finding delta x. So delta x is going to be equal to b minus a over n. So we already know b is going to be 2 and a is going to be 0, so it's just 2 minus 0 over n, so it's going to be equal to 2n. So our answer here, we're going to be, since delta x is 2n, our answer is going to be multiplied by 2n, 2 over n. And so we can see that this one right here, we're multiplying by 2i over n, this one also, so those won't work, so it's going to be between these. But how do we decide what's on the inside? Well, the inside we're told is equal to a plus the square root of x times i. And so, or a times delta x plus i, my bad. And so we're going to do a is going to be equal to 0, because that's what a equals. So it's going to be 0 plus delta x. We already know what delta x is. It's 2 over n times i. So whatever we plug into the x values of our function is going to be 2 over n times i, or just 2i over n. And so basically, we're going to take this and plug it into the x value of our function. So our function is x, y equals x cubed. So it's going to become y equals, well, let me plug this in, so 2i over n cubed. And then what we do is we multiply it by delta x. So if we look at these, it's going to be 2i over n multiplied by 2 over n. And so when we do that, we're going to realize that this is going to be the answer to this part. And so that's because we see that i equals 2 and i equals 1. But it's always going to be i equals 1. So just ignore these. They don't make sense. And so what we want to do next is look at b. So the way they want you to solve b is pretty complicated. So I'm just going to show you an easier way. So basically what we want to do is realize that this is basically, since it's the area, it's the integral from a to b, right, so we know it's from 0 to 2 of x cubed times dx. So how do we find this? Basically what we want to do is take the antiderivative of this value. So the antiderivative of x cubed is, what we do is we add 1 to the exponent and divide it by it, so x to the 4 over 4. And then we're just going to plug in these values and find the difference between them. So we plug in 2, find that value, and then subtract the difference when 0. So if we plug in 2 into this, 2 to the 4 is going to be 16 over 4 going to be equal to 4. Then if we plug in 0, because we're going to subtract whatever 0 plugged into this is, 0 to the 4th is 0, divided by 4 is 0, so 4 minus 0 is going to be equal to 4. So this right here is going to be the answer to this. And so these are going to be the answers to this problem.